Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on Bitcoin. We will take a look at the four-hour time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by four-hour in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here, as they're called, representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents four hours of time. So while this here may look like a couple weeks worth of time, it's actually just the past few days broken down into four-hour time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price. And in this situation, makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that over the weekend, Bitcoin has made uh, a very nice move. I mean, when you consider where the price was when it was down here at its lows, and then you look at where the price is currently at right now, I say currently because remember, the crypto markets are open 24 hours a day. So going forward, even if you're watching this video several hours from you know the time that I do it right now, what I want to focus on is, is a key level that's going to help us answer the question question that yeah the bulls have definitely made a good solid move nobody's going to debate that there's you know the bulls have made a, a good you know they've had a good healthy weekend that's probably the best way to put it but that does lead to the question of but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction you know dead cat bounce type move i have no idea but like i said by using charts and by focusing on this one level we can make answering that question uh you know much more straightforward and that level in my mind is down here at, let's see, what is that? The 8,200 mark. So why is 8,200 so important going forward? So again, if you're watching this video, you know, seven hours from now, just ask yourself, you know, where's the price relative to 8,200? Because 8,200 is important for the simple reason that price movements with genuine power are gonna make progress forward, right? They're not gonna go back to where they were. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly powerful, it's not gonna go back to where it was. That would be a contradiction. Exactly. So with that in mind, think about 8,200. Any sort of closes below there or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price at that point in time? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of this range that it has just broken out of. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Or let's say over the next few days, something like this happens, not saying it will, but price comes down here, behaves in that manner, and then starts to work its way back up. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have a set of lows down here. If you picture each of these as stair steps, well, hey, now you have overall stair steps progressing in the upwards direction, and that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's going to make progress forward. And in this situation, I'm defining and quantifying, quote unquote, make progress as 8,200. Now, as far as levels of resistance are concerned, I'm not even gonna touch on those because in my opinion, top priority right now is all about going through health consolidations and building higher bases. Because as long as a higher base is built over time, then given it enough time, that's how long-term uptrends are constructed. So focus on building those higher bases and everything else will take care of itself, including breaking levels of resistance. So nice weekend. Now it's just all about can the bulls build upon this momentum going forward? Let's see if the bulls can start building higher bases or not. Not. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.